Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back. Uh, we're opening up some 2020-2021 Extended Series Blasters, uh, and I got a fat pack, too. I've opened up a couple of hobby boxes on here, so you guys would have seen that. Had a lot of luck, um, but I said, you know what? I should probably open up the retail for you guys, too. Uh, so I grabbed some. So, I'll start with the fat pack today. I only grabbed one fat pack. Not typically a big lover of the fat packs. I think they're easily... If you're trying to get base cards, they're great. You just want to build that base collection. Uh, great idea. Other than that, typically doesn't work out too well. So a lot of guys here. Cam Talbot, Chris Kreider, Brandon Saw, no longer there. Folio, Wenberg, Mark Stahl, Jack Eichel, Ben Hutton, Derek Broussard. Did he get a young gun? There we go. Patrick Laine, Elias Pedersen, Slater Kyoki. <laughs> And Glennie Boy's back. Glenn Godden uh, is back. Punch more base. You'll see a lot of base coming up. I don't need to show you guys all that. But the first one is Glenn Godden. We actually hit his clear cut uh, last episode. And before I close them up, or close them, cover them up, I uh, got Tim Stutzel in the background along with Dylan Cousins, Kirill Kaprizov, and Kirill Kaprizov. Um, so a couple good young guns. But I got graded. Those are all from... Yeah, they're all from Series 2. So, got a lot of... Pulled a lot of Dylan Cousins. Decent amount of Tim Stutzel. So, I opened a, I op did open a lot of, a lot of Series 2, though. That, so, that might be half the reason why I have so many of everybody. So, uh, first blaster we're ever opening. So, golden pack. It's got Nate on the front of it. You're getting seven packs. You're going to get, on average, a young gun per every four packs. So the odds are not in your favor to get two young guns, but here's to hoping our luck with blasters finally turns around here a little bit. But not the greatest lately. So Matthew Chuck, Brent, or Jordan Bennington. There we go. I don't think I have this one yet. Uh, Cameron Hillis. So young gun. So there's young gun number one. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully hitting one off the bat like that. sleeve out here. I think Len Godden already got so this one I may as well throw in a sleeve too. Boom. Grab another stand, throw him up, and we're off to the races. For number two, man I got so, <laughs> I'm so spoiled by this box cutter uh, to open the packs that I can never open packs without it now. Cody Eakin, got Chanyak, Lucas Walmart, and we got a 0506 insert of Thomas Hurdle. No sec. Like now I can't open packs that I'm just so used to it. I just that's easy because you just a little slit there. Boom. Open. Don't worry about messing up corners or anything. We got a victory. Austin Matthews. Moment. There we go. Look at that stash. Said, so not going to go through the base packs, the base cards. I said, you guys have seen those all too much. There's a lot of base cards in this. There's no real big young guns. Like, in, essentially, in this, you're essentially hoping for like 05, 06 young guns if you can find them. Braden Holtby, Vasileski. So, we got a David Pasternak. One's going to talk. So, throw him in a sleeve real quick. He gets put aside for my assistant's young fella. He's a Boston fan, so he gets all my pasta inserts, all that stuff. He deserves it. He deserves to have some cool cards. I'm sure they, I know they used to have like, um, a lot of these like elementary schools and stuff had like hockey card, you know, groups and stuff. Elias Lindholm, underrated uh, for the Flames. Okay, come on. Don't let us down. We got two young guns so far. We're on a roll. A young gun in the uh, in the fat pack. Young gun in the first pack of this. What do we got? We got... It's just base. This one's just base. Okay. Last pack. Let's see if we can... Come on. We need a little better luck here. 
Let's see what we can get. We got Michael Scarboza. So only the one young gun. Okay, that's fine. That's why we got three of these things. We don't get one, not two, but three. Um, didn't open last week because I know Walmart's typically more uh, than like Toys R Us and all that stuff. So I went today. Toys R Us is in fact cheaper um, to buy these. So I got these for only a couple bucks. I thought they were like, in the past they've been like five to ten dollars cheaper per pack which obviously if you're buying a couple of them makes a big difference um my hobby shop though uh after i bought two of these uh from um from toys r us for 30 bucks a pop uh, my hobby shop actually i don't know there goes the cat i've never seen him run like that and a long time uh my hobby shop actually had these blasters on for 25 dollars, so that was pretty good uh look at that guy nathan mckinnon matthew joseph ada putina of the stanley cup and there you go as you're gonna get holographics uh from one of these young guns it's pretty good arthur kaliev so pop him up there that is the big hit uh for Ser or extended series extended series if it wasn't for they got lucky they put those like inserts in for the other ones for the hobby and stuff because man i think they would have been in some real trouble if they didn't um oh there we go uh here's the other big name there we go two inserts of the of the big big two for the young guns for this uh alexi heponiemi for florida he's the other big uh, young gun hit Logan Stanley's in here too there's a couple decent ones but uh, nobody that was huge so we'll take Glenn down Glenn can go sit somewhere else for now we'll get Alexi up there but yeah essentially you're looking for and I've been extremely lucky I pulled a my first ever extended series hobby box I pulled a Lafreniere uh, and my second one I pulled a uh, I think my second and third one I, I got Tim Stutzel so here we go, we got a young gun. It's just a regular young gun. It is a D-man for the Senators, Artem Zub. So here we go. I was hoping for another Tim Stutzel uh, retro young gun, but we'll take that. Put him in a, in a sleeve. We'll take out Cameron, nothing, nothing personal Cameron. And this is the first time we've hit Artem Zub. I'm pretty sure so some new new guys showing up cameron and the Artem. we're really hoping uh, what are the odds i forgot to check before we started this um i don't know i'm showing you guys like that we'll go young guns just one and four i thought maybe it'd say the uh he doesn't have it just one and four for young guns i was just thinking maybe i've heard of people i don't know if it's true i've heard of people pulling the retro young guns out of here now maybe that's yeah that wasn't true but we got mark stone what a classic style love him put him over there just a classic style of Base cards and young guns. Yeah, Tim Suits will two of them now. I'm gonna hold those until the season starts. May as well. They've gone down in price. All of it is, right? It's and it's it's the off season. So you're kind of expected to see these hockey cards go down in price. Um, you know, young guns and stuff. The big guys you're gonna see up there, right? The McKinnon's, the McDavid's, the Ovechkin's, the Crosby, you know, those guys are all going to stay up there, Matthews and stuff, uh, but it's the lower ones that kind of take the hit. There we go, rest in peace. Uh, Matisse Kivlintz. Man, sorry, Kaliev, but uh, man saved other people and, you know, sacrificed his life. He gets to go up on the, in the backdrop right now. That's uh, just, it's just wild. It's, 
have somebody that's that young, you know, has the world ahead of them with the NHL and everything else, uh, or just playing professional hockey. It doesn't have to be NHL, right? And he's played at a higher level than probably anybody in this, you know, watching this video has ever played in. Uh, and, you know, see something like that happen to him is just terrible. Uh, this one is going to be another one. Cole Holtz. So there we go. There's a, a second young gun, and that's one we don't have yet. So Cole Holtz for the Kings. Hold to see. He looks old. Um, that's not that old. 23? It's not that old. So, so far, not terrible. We got uh, a Dazzlers of a kind of a second best rookie you can get out of this. We got four, two young guns in that pack. So hopefully, right now we should, knock on wood, the odds are with us uh, to get two more young guns in these packs. I'm running out of room on the side, so that goes on the floor. But um, we said two of these did come from Toys R Us and the other one, like I said, cheaper at my hobby shop, 25 bucks. So if you have a hobby shop that's around, I don't know what they charge, but mine was pretty cheap. The garbage coming out, just pouring off the edges here. Uh, Gil Chunyak, Lucas Walmark, Innovations, Pui Suter. There you go. Different insert. These uh, Ovations do there. You can kind of see their kinda like a rigid texture on the edges. Pretty cool. Ovation. Maybe Ovation's like the calling card for the retro rookies. I just love the retro rookies. I don't want to tell you. Also, maybe we get like the Lafreniere rookie. I don't know if that's like a hobby exclusive. Or the the uh, the other one, the just the Lafreniere and like Tidalandria in victory. Um, his like actual playing super short print young gun for Lafreniere is like it's going for like five hundred plus dollars Canadian. So. If we can hit that, we might do a, see if we can do a backflip over here. Uh, we got a Seleski again. We got a checklist because we always hit checklists over here at the bench. Ryan McDonough. Oh, just Chris Letang. I was like, is this a weird insert? No, just Chris Letang. So, four packs left. Not too bad. Like I said, I probably won't get any more of this. Um, for essentially what I sent, spent on blasters, I could have bought a hobby box. But... Guess what? I thought I'd give you guys kind of a, a first look at this stuff. We got Kevin Ball. He's a good guy. I just don't know him as personally, but he's got uh, he was a monster in the World Juniors a couple years ago. He's a big kid, 6'6", six, six, I think is what he is. Come on. Come on. Eric, pretend like you know how to put a card in the sleeve. There we go. Uh, Kevin Ball is 6'6", 230. Just a monster from BC. We'll take down Zoob for you, Kevin. But get He was part of a trade. Was, was that the Taylor Hall trade, maybe? Does that make sense? I can't remember anymore. He was part of a trade, I'm pretty sure, that brought him over to New Jersey. So uh, we get a rookie, or sorry, just an insert of Shea Weber. May never play hockey again. So that'd be sad. Kind of a guy that he just looked back and everyone's known his name forever. He was such a solid defenseman in New Jersey for all those years. Uh, or New Jersey, uh, in Nashville for all those years. He just was out there. You know, one of the top D men in the league. And then they trade him over to Montreal. Everyone's like, oh, what are you doing? His cap hit was crazy. We got reflections of Arthur Kaliev. There we go. Another Kaliev. Kittens in the other room smashing each other against the wall and the door. Uh, Arthur Kaliev. And then he gets traded. And everyone's like, oh, that's a terrible trade. PK Subban is much better. PK obviously had his issues also. But, uh, Kind of hasn't lived up to even what he was, but check out this. Can we get a so just got the one young gun so far? Oh, there we go. Got a second one. This one's gonna be Jack Rathbone. Such a pretty, two pretty good uh, 
Young Guns. Jack's a decent name for, for Vancouver, and Kevin's a pretty good name for New Jersey. So, hey, that's that's better than Art and Dube and else we have some other random guy for the Kings and so I'll take that uh obviously no retro young guns like I said looking back and I only bought a third one because I was like oh, I'm at the hobby shop might as well spend it it's only 25 bucks like I said uh but check out your local hobby shops like I said they might be cheaper they might be up to 30 some dollars too like you know Walmart I think it was 32 dollars uh Toys R Us was 29.99 um, but yeah, my local hobby shop was 25 bucks, which is pretty good price. So, uh, make sure you guys like, and subscribe, uh, lots of videos on the channel, whether you want to see what comes in a hobby box, see all the inserts there. You can see those other retro or tribute young guns. Uh, if you're looking at grading, um, like the cards below or on the backside, sorry, um, right there, it's, I got a couple videos. I did episode one and episode two of like what you're looking for when you're going to grade a card. Um, so when it comes to players and this and that all this stuff that you know what's making you just des you decide on the player the product everything else that you want to send away are you going to send away um this reflections of even if i hit a reflections of kaprizov am i going to send it away probably not it's not an insert that's worth a whole bunch uh and then the sep second episode of that one uh is about what you're looking for when you're looking to grade a card um you know how do you get the best number here like this 9.5 on all these, how do you get like a 9.5 or a 10 or even a nine? Uh, make sure you don't get anything less than that. Um, anyway, so there's a couple of episodes if you guys want to check that out. So I'll leave you guys there. Like I said, thank you guys again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.